Hi everyone, my name is Tony McKnight and I am the President and CEO of Big Daddy Unlimited. And I want to take a moment to dispel some rumor, conjecture, and hearsay surrounding a federal lawsuit that we have with a company called Rare Breed Triggers, as well as a number of other rumors that are floating around on the internet and on social media about Big Daddy Unlimited and our associated partner companies. First of all, what I'd like to tell everybody is that on Monday, our attorney in our patent lawsuit with Rare Breed filed a construction claim. And in his construction claim, he quoted information from the ATF referencing the FRT-15 and the opinion of the ATF that the FRT-15 is, in fact, a machine gun. As a person and as a representative of Big Daddy Unlimited, I disagree with the opinion of the ATF, not only on the rare breed FRT-15, but also on the wide open trigger and also on the Alamo 15. I believe that by definition, all three are semi-automatic triggers and therefore should be legal. However, the ATF and the Department of Justice disagree with us on that. And that's why Big Daddy Unlimited, we are actually fighting the ATF and the DOJ on a forfeiture claim for both the wide open trigger and the Alamo 15. And we believe that at some point in the future, we will be victorious in that case and that these triggers will be allowed to be sold again. Secondly, there's a big rumor out there that we have done some kind of secret deal with the Department of Justice, the ATF, and God only knows how many other federal agencies out there. We have not done any deals with anybody. While we do work with the ATF on an almost daily basis because we are federal firearms license holders and we have to deal with them, we are not doing anything with them in regards to this case other than defending our position that we believe all forced reset, positive reset, positive displacement, triggers that fire fast are legal semi-automatic triggers. So we're not working with anybody. We don't have an immunity deal. We have no deal whatsoever. Uh, we're in the fight. We do have a dispute with Rare Breed about the nature of their patent claim versus the patent of the owner of the wide open trigger versus the owner of the uh, Alamo 15, the Graves trigger. Uh, we are defending all of those patent claims and there's a lot more that will be coming out having to do with that case. There's a lot we're not allowed to say about the case because most of the information is sealed or privileged information. And while there's some stuff that I'd like to talk about and reveal, we just can't do that. And the last thing we need is a federal judge getting super upset with us. I'd also like to dispel a rumor out there that we've turned over any customer or member list to the Department of Justice or any other government agency. We have not. We will not. We have not been compelled to. We actually haven't even been asked to give a list. Uh, the wide open trigger and the Graves trigger were determined to be or opinion to be illegal triggers by the Department of Justice, ATF, and they asked us to stop selling them, which we did. But at the same time, we also filed a claim against them that we believe that those triggers are legal for sale and that they do meet the definition of a semi-automatic trigger. So we haven't given anybody's list. We haven't given any of the names of any of our people away. We're still in the side, on the side of the 2A community and we're still in the fight for this. The other thing that I'd like to point out is that there was a rumor that we were raided. We weren't raided. The ATF stopped by one day and said, hey, you guys can't sell these triggers anymore and gave us a piece of paper that was a cease and desist that said, don't sell them anymore. And we said, okay, we won't sell them even though we disagree with your opinion. And again, we're fighting that in our forfeiture case and our opinion is that these are semi-automatic legal triggers. And finally, I'd like to read a statement from our attorneys. We request parties consider the effects that their comments have and reflect on the basis that they had for making them. Big Daddy Unlimited is a real company that employs real people. Comments designed to harm our business and employees should be solidly grounded. Instead, it seems people with no background in the law, understanding of patents, or even a complete knowledge of the case are all too often the ones recklessly opining on the legal effects of statements made, in this case, in a patent claim construction brief. And I would also ask everybody 
just be mindful of the comments that you make that they do have consequences. And if anybody has any additional questions, would like to reach out to us, feel free to send an email to press at bigdaddyunlimited.com. Reach out to us on social media. We're happy to talk to people, happy to let them know what we're allowed to let you know, and happy to stay in the game. Appreciate everybody's time. Thanks.